Alright boys, it seems that I've decided to play fucking... I've decided to play goddamn Colin McRae. I've not played this in a very, 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 very long time. Uh, because, you know, I, I was grinding the fucking YouTube. I was grinding the goddamn SLR on YouTube. Now that the fucking... Now that I did my goal, which was to upload daily till December 31st. Um... I'm gonna play fucking games that I wanna play and, you know, not worry about fucking pushing out so much content. And I'm just gonna do some chill shit. But yeah, I'm gonna, as, 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 as these videos normally get so fucking degenerate, I would prefer to uh, keep this one a bit cleaner. Um, so I'm gonna talk about what I did in uh, my New Year's Day, in my New Year's life, alright? So, I went to the gym, right? Because I wanted to get some fucking pump, okay? I wanted to get my muscles pumped because I gotta look good for the bitches, bro. Like, come on, get the fuck up, bro. Like, uh, square up, guy. Um... That was pretty fun. Yeah, I went to the gym, got a, like an hour, a nice hour, hour and a half session in. Um, especially since I knew I won't be going for a few days after that. But then again, it's it's, this, it's January the second right now, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go in a bit because <laughs> uh, it feels nice to go into to the gym. You know, it's relaxing. Once you make gym like fucking. A place where it's not it's not a deal to it's not an ordeal to go it's not like oh shit I gotta go to the gym once you get comfortable with the gym it's very easy to just fucking pull up it's a bit far for me the gym right because uh, I gotta get into my car and drive five minutes right fair enough but it's still five minutes with absolutely no traffic is um is a significant it's a two kilometers three kilometers 2.5 kilometers <laughs> It's not far, but it's an, it's still it's still a barrier of entry. Whatever. So I went to the gym, got home, took a shower, put on a tight shirt. Very happy with my very tight shirt, slim fit, extra slim fit, right? Extra slim fit. I'm uh, I'm currently because it's it's winter season, so I'm not I'm not I'm low key bulking, right? Especially since it's fucking it was the holiday season, so I was not clean bulking. I was fucking eating dickhead shit every single day i'm currently 76.6 kg obviously the 0.6 um that fluctuates but i am around that that weight and i'm six foot with shoes on fuck you george um the the thing is you know tight shirts may not be the best idea but uh it was good it was good because I haven't eaten anything all day because I knew there was going to be a fucking feast and a half. If any of you know what J.R.R. Martin does in his books, the author of Game of Thrones, A Song, a song of Ice and Fire, the author, right? Uh, he, he, <laughs> when it comes time to describe a battle, it's, it goes something like this, you know? And then Jon Snow pulled the sword and stabbed the cunt, right? That's about it. And then some other fucks got stabbed, and uh, you know the good guys won. When it comes to fucking feasts, when he comes to when he describes food, motherfucker, it goes it goes hard. It goes like fucking. Uh, there was the, 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 the room was filled with goods, turkeys upon turkeys, pigs. What do I mean wrong wrong way? All right, whatever. Pigs, dead pigs, currently slain pigs. There is gravy jam. I mean, I can't even describe that shit because I'm autistic. But the motherfucker spends five pages describing food and spends one page describing a fucking battle that's been built up the whole for, for the last 50 pages. For the last fucking book, right? Um, so that's the thing. That's the whole ordeal situation we've got. Um, that that's what that's what. That was what it was at the at New Year's Day night Eve. A lot of fucking food, dude. It was good food, motherfucker. There was so much food. A lot of food was not even touched. We were like 25 people, and there was food that was not touched. Obviously, fucking women are fucking dickheads and don't eat. Like, oh, oh more fucker, go, more fucker. I can't eat because I want to put on weight. But bitch, go to the gym. That's the easiest way to do things. Uh, if you're gonna be cunty about it, right? Not not eating, not 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 fucking eating food. That's easily fixable if you go to the gym. Obviously, some uh, some women put on weight quite easily, so I'm not gonna go too hard on that. Even though I just did, it's irrelevant. A lot of you are like fucking one one year old, one year olds, and don't fucking think women exist. So that's fine. This doesn't mean anything to you. But one day you'll be in the real life, and you'll be like, oh, chicks are cool, bro. <laughs> 
yeah, let's let's go, bro. <laughs> um, but we ate, and the best thing is, well, the, the best thing is, well, we stayed the next day till like fucking six, seven, right? We didn't go home. We gonna we didn't go home. Uh, because first of all, it's a very bad thing to drink and drive, even if it's like six, seven hours after you drunk, it's still in your system. Obviously, I'm not I'm not feeling drunk, but the the cops find me and they're like, oh. Let's see, boss. Let's see what you got in there. And, uh, they might find some alcohol and I might lose my driver's license and then shit's fucked. Shit is absolutely fucked. Um, but that's fine. I didn't do that. Uh, the, the next day, we just fucking... The, 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 the fucking... The, the table, which was a giant table, fit to sit 25 people. We were in the house, by the way. Not some, not some place. We were just in a fucking house. Um, that... That, that fucking table was, uh, that grand table, okay, not a fucking table, it was a grand table, grand fucking table, um, uh, was f still filled with food. Obviously, it stayed overnight there, so it's a bit grim, but didn't stop any, didn't, didn't stop me from fucking go gouging myself on food. Chicken steaks, I think, I don't know if you would call that, basically it's chicken, dude. Nice fucking chicken, dude. Healthy and tastes fucking great. Uh, some, um... To anybody who's uh, from the Balkans, it will be easiest way to describe some of the food is... Uh, that looked like I will not be... Okay. The easiest way to describe some of the food is uh, Serbian Skara. Serbian uh, barbecue for... Uh, it's essentially barbecue, right? But it's much better than what you see with barbecue. It's Serbian Skara. Oh, man. Obviously, it's not Serbian Skara for us. It's just Skara for us because there's no fucking reason to call it Serbian Skara when we're fucking in Bulgaria, right? But that's, that would be ridiculous. That's, you know, just like calling it English sausage when you're in England and calling it German sausage when you're in Germany. But uh, Serbian Skara is the best, uh, you know, the best way to uh, you know explain it to people and it's it's oh my it was grand juice dude we got fucking salads that these i don't know if you guys have them, these salads but it's like russian salad and it's just essentially like fucking i can't even explain it dude i don't even know what's in it but i said you know that's irrelevant essentially we ate a lot of fucking food i didn't drink that much i think it would be like three large Three large whiskies in most places. Uh, in Bulgaria, actually, small drinks are large and large drinks are extra large. But obviously, we were just pouring them ourselves, so I don't fucking know. I'm not a barman, dude. I'm not a bartender, right? Uh, drank a bit, party hard, I guess. We fucking... It was, it, it was quite... What, what do you call it? It was quite festive. Very nice time. I didn't know too many of the people there, but... They were uh, a nice bunch. Oh my god, wait. So fucking the cat just distract distracted me by opening a fucking door. Uh, what else, what else, what else can I say? Fucking nothing. Yeah, yeah, you know. Sure, some, uh, a dude pulled out a gun, but it was a gas gun, so it's not really... I mean, at the, at the, at the beginning, I was like... Did I, I was like sitting there, and it was like... Did this motherfucker just pull out a fucking... Glock 18. Yeah, well, he did, but it was not a real Glock 18. So that's uh, that, that's fine. I shot with it. Very Eastern European. You know, a nice little shot. It doesn't ha doesn't uh, doesn't bother anybody. Everybody was uh, everything was exploding, so nobody's gonna notice a gun going off. But it was it was a good time. It was a good time. Fucking the next day. Also, a lot of fucking shisha, a lot of hookah, dude. Dude, a lot of fucking shish and hookah. It was, it was banger, dude. Uh, it, it, you you kind of just don't stop smoking if you you know if you're keen and do it to do that, you know, because a lot of people just sit there and maybe smoke a little bit, you know. I, I was on that shisha like a fucking, like a fucking dickhead, dude. I was, I was slobbering that bitch like a motherfucker. No little, you know, you put these things right into the, uh, into the. What do you call it? Right into the hose of the fucking of the shisha. You put you know, on top of them, so uh, these little plastic things. So it's like your plastic thing. So you don't uh, slobber whatever what somebody else was slobbering. Uh, but well, 
I didn't do that. Nobody did that. Nobody carried carried. And we give gave a fuck at the end there. And the next day we wake up, go eat more, eat a lot more, smoke some shisha, just fucking hang out. It was a nice. It was a very very nice. Uh, nice. What do you call it? New Year's Day. New Year's next day. It was a nice thing. Um, well, what was very peculiar when I got home. After being stuck in a house with 25 people, going into my house and there being absolutely nobody. Now it's a big house where I live, not to flex on anybody. A house, not a fucking apartment, dickheads. <laughs> a big ass house, boss. Uh, and nobody is home because my parents and my brother are uh, way off somewhere, right? It was quite lonely. There was nobody like around. So, uh, you know. That's it. That's all about it, right? Um, that's my uh, that's my tale of New Year's. Nothing really peculiar happened except the gun and a lot of fucking eating. Uh, but anybody who's from the Balkans would, or not even the Balkans, because I think it, anybody who's from like, I'm pretty sure Macedo Macedonia, Macedonia, um, Serbia. I'm pretty sure you guys, yeah, you guys do hurrah, right? You know, anybody who's from there, you know, watches this. We did it, we, uh, hurrah is a, uh, is a national fucking dance. It's a fucking, like, festive ass fucking dance, and we were dropping that shit like crazy. I don't know how the fucking house didn't cave in, but that's, whatever. Fucking whatever. People sleeping everywhere. That was the worst part. Fucking we had to sleep with 20, 20 people or so in the goddamn house. So It was a hell of a fucking deal. It's a hell of a goddamn deal. Oh, I don't know. This is like, I've, I've always treated Colin McRae videos as my like personal podcast. Because I listen to a lot of podcasts. So, uh, you know, I'm dropping a podcast here as well. And, uh, you know, fuck SLRR. Even though I just recorded an SLR, I was like, I want to record something else as well. Because I can finally do that. Not that I couldn't, I just decided that I wanted to upload only SLRR in December. And I was still really going hard on SLRR videos before that, because I was I wanted to hit the goal of uh, 30,000 viewers a month in December, and I hit that, and I passed it with 33,000. Um, which is pretty cool, dude. Um... Uh, this is a very high number for my channel, although I I peaked at 110,000 viewers in one month, the, and after that was like 57,000, and the other like peaks are 37, 35, and now 33,000, so I'm not too far off from uh, the heyday of this channel, but I don't know, I, oh my god, I hope it can continue growing. I hope the channel can uh, not stop at 30,000 views. Obviously, SLRR is the thing that gets me views, but it's also the thing that limits those views because it's a very, very, very niche and small market. And, you know, and it's not, you know, a niche. you can be successful in a niche market, but when it's so small, I think this is essentially what what, what it is. You know, that, that this is it. SLRR... It, can't, it cannot give me anything more, okay. How the fuck do I restart? How do I reposition my car? Hello? Oh, right. Well, I guess I could have done that. Seems that it worked. It doesn't matter. SLRR is a very small, uh, very, very small market. So, you know, I'm going to try and expand my market. And obviously, what I really want to do is uh, make real life videos. Those are the most interesting. Those are by far the most interesting videos. And those are the, the videos I would like to, you know. I, those are the videos I watch. Those are the videos I want to make. I, I watch gaming extremely rarely. Because I'm fucking. Because, you know, I, I always thought. I mean, oh, gaming will always be a part of my fucking existence. I play a ton of kind of like CS, dude. I play a ton of other games. I'm insurgent. I'm a shooter guy. I'm not a car guy. I mean, I'm a car guy. I'm not a car gamer guy. I play a ton of shooters. Call of Duty, Insurgency, fucking uh, 
CSGO, CS1.0, CS Source, uh, just playing for fun sometimes. Oops. Um, so I'm banging, you know, I play games, but, you know, I do more stuff. I, 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 the most, I try and go out as much as I can, because that's more, that's where I find the most fun to be had. 15th, that's that's not nice. Uh, this should be, um, yeah, saving championship progress. Perfect, because it's time to end this video, because this thing has been going for a fucking long time. It's, uh, I've been, uh, I've been going hard for, um, for a while now. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you've ever, if you've, if you've watched this thing till the end, if you've watched it till here, um, drop a comment. I'm going to give you a shout out in the next uh, video, next video that I record after seeing the comment. It's going to take a while. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one.